this video is intended for audiences who are 13 and over. If you are not 13 and over, please fuck off and tell your parents to moderate what you watch online. Tariq Molly, hey. 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 Hey, uh, hey, we did another season finish of a show that we that was done as a filler into Power Rangers comes back, but at the time of this recording, uh, Power Rangers still isn't come back. Sammy's were forced to quickly find another show to do to fill up space until Power Rangers come back next week. Right. Which may or may not just be fucking, uh, goddamn, uh, another season of Ryusa yeah, Gotta Rico. Hey, so, hey, so, hey, here's the big, uh, spoiler, uh, surprise. So, in the time, I don't remember we talked about this in episode 10 or not. I'm pretty sure we did, but in I the think time. Mm -hmm, came up, like, right. to an extent. Yeah. Right, but in the time that we start, because well, originally this was done, like, this was one of our many shows that we're doing as a filler until Power Rangers comes back. It's like, boy, hey, we got nothing to tell. Let's just come up with some stupid... Let's try to find some weird Power Rangers, Tokusatsu, Sentai, Bandai, adjacent type yeah. of media we can do, right? You know, Hey, right? this has, this has to do with model, uh, model kits you know, and right? stuff, and model kits have to do with Bandai and and uh, Sentai and Bandai. Bandai, Tokusatsu Bandai, Bandai shit. makes all the toys for all the Tokusatsu, all right? You know, all right, good. We can do this, right? So in the time that we took, that we started this, right? Uh, right, since we started uploading these episodes in the time, uh, a season two of Rico has been produced and it's currently airing at we're recording this. And and the reason why I only know about this and the reason why I you only know that is because of me was because I was on my Twitter one day, uh, going through my Twitter, right? Uh, for reasons, you know, don't worry about what I'm using Twitter for, right? And I got yeah, a okay. fucking recommendation speech uh, uh, that shows the actress for Rico holding a Shin Kamen Rider figurized model. Okay, I'm like, what the fuck is this? I'm yep. Oh, no, when did? Yeah, Rico, when's the Rico never, Shin Kamen Rider? Rico never built Shin Kamen Rider. Shin Kamen Rider wasn't out. So then I clicked on the link and I realized this was the official Twitter. The official Twitter page for for Rico, and then and then of course since, since everything's in Japanese, I just had to start deciphering what the well what the what the what the what the kana is and kanji means. Like it's like I was like, is this a fucking season two? And then I found out that in that time a season two of Rico started, and we just didn't know about it. Yeah, I mean, and it's absolutely insane. And then and then I read the basic synopsis of season two, and it's more insane than than everything in season one. What? Right? What do you mean? Why is it insane? Well, this was this. Th we're building up to a review of this where this has actually been kind of balanced and kind of okay Boy, and normal. Uh, do you guys want me to tell you the plot, the synopsis of season two, or do you guys uh, want to wait till we actually start season two? I mean, can you give? Right. A, can you give a? Can you give the like boilerplate? You know, like uh, hey, like Tariq, season hey, two. When you when you go outside, watch out for Truck Coon. All right, you know he's coming. No. For that who? is everything for both of for all of us. That is all I'm gonna to explain to you about Rico season two. I I can't believe that. Uh hold on, I gotta Uh oh. Uh -oh. I'm trying to see I just wanna see if Rico season two has made its way uh is actually being carried by any of these fucking channels that want to fucking uh if it if it's popular enough that i don't have to go searching through uh the deep recesses of the internet oh wait oh it's green oh. this time oh it's green hold on yeah uh mo hitori no pramo joshi no jinsei what all right so you're the japan why don't you translate the title of season two for me me and molly It's absolutely I mean, insane. it's the same thing, but it's added in a, a still alone plastic model young woman's lifestyle. Fuck it, it's it just added mohitori, which just means like still lonely. Like they fucking added, like they made it sadder and added more words. Mm -hmm. Jesus Christ! What? Yeah, yeah, boy, hey, man. I can't wait till we get to season two. And this season, start. this new season is set in an entirely new universe. <laughs> what the it's fuck? Video portraying the president of a startup company called Dream Crazy. I, I have questions. Ah, uh, 
we were doing fine, and then they decided yeah. to drop so the every, so grounded all the fucking character progression we learned about Rico this season. Throw that out the window by the end of this review. By the end of this review, everything we have watched Rico go through and grow and learn and experience and had and form and made irrelevant. We're just gonna throw all that shit out the window by the end of this review, right? We're starting over from zero. <laughs> Re zero, fucking start to go. Add re zero, but I'll take all the Ryu Sun Gatorico stuff, and then also the, the and then uh, fucking restart re zero. Fucking add that to it. Ryu Sun Gatorico re zero. Uh, promo Joshi. Fuck man. Oh, life, man. Life, life in another world, you know. Right? Yeah. Life in yeah. another world where I am the boss now. Yeah. Well, hey. hey, all that being said, hey, it's, hey, it's time the series to... review of Ryu Saga R- Rico. Yeah. Drop my show, uh, plastic life, mass produced life. Yeah. All right. Hey, I don't know where, how you guys want to, uh, where you guys want to start with this, right? There's a lot of stuff to talk about, right? Uh, I mean, I guess the best thing to say is that, <sighs> hey, this is a, this has been a series that, uh, is really surprisingly focused on uh, the the like social di- like this is different than a lot of the other shit that we've watched where it's like well yeah it's trying to sell fucking it's 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 got Classic a plot model. but it's trying if to sell shit most, like, weird th- thirty minute thirty seconds of uh, uh, sales pitch every episode you know right like, yeah. hey have you heard about this anime called Love Live? Is yeah. very famous, you know. This is Kotori. She's from Muse, the original yeah. group. There hey, are four uh, groups now, ha- by the way. Have you any know? of you uh, paid attention? Of Austin has never heard of or wasn't even where it existed, and he realized that he only likes Muse and he hates all the new groups. You know, right? Yeah. Well, hey, that's what happens. Uh, <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, but they just have all this other shit about like, I guess. It this is surprisingly more, uh, like, grounded in its fundamental conceit of like this being like a an office space like sort of yeah. situation of that like a burnt out worker. Show, that, show that set is like some weird stupid fictional fictional universe where everyone everything has to be uh, and the plastic balls are solving problems, but the plastic ball is not not the real problem solving. You're not. Nobody, the, the plastic model gun is just straight up a plastic model gun in this yeah. show. You're not and then they move on to thing. the next, and then they move on to the next plastic model thing. But it's really the plastic models are being used as a like a uh, uh, metaphor to enhance the story. Yeah, like yeah. The person that we're talking about this week. Yeah, it it it's uh what do you what do you call it a tool you do fucking the, 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 plot, the, the device? plot device. That's what it is. That's the mm-hmm. term. That's the term. Whoopsie. Yeah. Uh-huh. Um, but yeah, it's it's the their their plot devices that help like carry the story along for like every different like situ like every new bit of like Rico like trying yeah. to become a full grown person. Mm-hmm. Right? At the at the at the age of twenty four, she's learning though she learn she's learning about the real life, you know, right? Yeah, I mean to be fair, is she's this, having her soul this, sucked out of her in this fucking company. I guess. Uh, is this drama supposed to be an actual uh, metaphor about the Japanese office life system? You know, right? I mean, it certainly feels like it. It takes them six people to fold a piece of paper into thirds and put it in an envelope and seal it. I, look, hey, you know, we some, do that daily. I, you I, did that. I did a hundred and twenty. Yeah, I did that a hundred and twenty times. Uh, yeah. But they work so much slower. Look. It's just fun. Look, this is why they make people stay uh, at home uh, or stay in the office until they cry, and uh, that's why they also keep the nets around the building to catch the, them when they try uh-huh. to. Uh, then they say they don't want to fold shit no more. Side note. Right, and, that, and, and 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 that's why that's why every office worker comes comes goes goes drinking every day after 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 work, you know, right? Yeah. Right, to 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 escape from the from the office work life, you know. Yeah, the right? pain of of this wretched coil. Yes. Side note, uh-huh. like I said, I was not here for the beginning first episodes. 
So this is weird to me. Oh yeah, I was pulling up the I was just pulling up the first episode in the background from Ollie. I'll be honest, it's been so long since we started it, I don't even remember uh-huh. what the fuck is happening in this. I'm like, huh. Oh, yeah, so yeah, this yeah, is yeah, yeah, how we first like, met the first us. Episode was just I forgot. I think it was uh, one of them telling her, "Hey, you're really ba- you're you're just really really basic, you know, right?" And then they're she just walks so home. Bro- Who would yeah. want to go to a park full of cats that you can hang out with? Um, me. The answer is me. Give me cats. Right. I think that was that's what happened. I think that was the plan. And then she just walks home and then she's like, "Oh man, what's this mysterious building I've never seen before?" You know, right. Right, what's with this old man and this 19-year-old uh, store assistant in here? Right, the really persistent, I mean, buying this model kit that was made 30 years ago. It says clearance, do not sell after 2005, you know. Yeah, it says, uh, it says paint still made with lead, do not, uh, <laughs> is not meant to be used for, uh, for consumer, uh, cons- right? like, uh, use. right. What's with this guy? But this guy really wants me to build this model kit, you know? Right? Yeah, it it's it's a wild fucking uh again, the the plot is so <coughs> like they fundamentally really based basic, in like basic in plot. workplace drama <coughs> and and like the the uh Menu? What do you like? Menu No, there's a term for it. it uh, it's. I'm menu? thinking of words that are outside of my dictionary span at this point. Because what, what does it mean? Uh, milieu? Mm, no. no. Men melees. Menu? What are you saying menu? You mean? No, it's the thing of like being like, uh, like, f- like floating and like just wading through life and. Uh, Monotonous? Is that what you're no, saying? No, no. Uh, it's been so long since I've taken the SATs, and I've been drinking oh a lot boy, more. Oh boy, man, man. All right, Molly, let's just let's just you and me start speed running words that just starts with M. You know, all right? Let's, let's just start like Malays, men, uh, Mandela, mouse, uh, Malays. mandatory, manga, no, Mississippi, Milieu. Minnesota. Menopause. Me- well, it's uh, definitely not menopause. I'll tell you that. Me- uh, she's, the girl is twenty-four. Uh, me- Missionary. You. Millie Bobby Brown. Mormon. Uh, Mormons. Oh, uh, hey, it is. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, yeah, all right. This is kind of what I meant. Uh, uh-huh, okay. He says kind of. Um, milieu. It's the it's the it's the culture around a person. Like, you grow up. You, it's the place that you live around. Like the people that you're around. Uh, the, mm-hmm. Yeah. The the. I was trying to say, like, the milieu of being, like, a 24-year-old, like, out of college, like, fresh out of college, like, office worker. I mean, she's a couple right. of years out of college, but she's still, like, oh, fuck, this is really, this is this the rest of my life? Fuck. Um, but I hope I get a CEO award at this office, you know? Well, I, I it's I more like, you. it's more like, I spent all this time trying to become, like, a, yeah, I hope I get a C, well, forget, I hope I get a CEO award. I hope I get to become a, 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 a CEO. Oh, wait. That's in the other timeline. Um, I buy my train. I bla- I buy my clothes at a train station. Well, that's the thing, right? In <laughs> Japan, like there are. I mean, depending on where you are, but like it's like the oh, yeah. Go to Union Station. There's that's stores. what I was gonna say. Like if you go to like the it's still funny. if you go to like the Friendship Heights like station, which is like or used to be attached to like a mall, like the Gallery Place Mall. Like you could yep. go into there and like go straight from the metro into that. Friendship Heights is too bougie. Uh, yeah, well, that's why all of those buildings are fucking uh, abandoned now because of the, all that bouginess doesn't sell anymore. Oops, sucks to suck. Uh, mm-hmm. But like, uh, yeah, this is just she's. It's watching a twenty-four-year-old. It, it's a very relatable thing of like, hey, uh, you try to like spend your your life going through. Uh, just trying to like get a job and like live. You're passing. Yeah, like just get seized. Yeah, just not even seized survive, degrees, but like, right? yeah, just trying to survive. Following and a it's generic like, course. And it's like you're not actually doing any. Like, there's nothing that you've nothing of note that has come from you. Even if it's like, and the, the thing that I think that's interesting about the model kit building is that she isn't even. It isn't 
that they stick specifically to Gunpla model kits because mm-hmm. he does. I mean, she does like it. Is, it does start off being like, "Hey, uh, the fucking uh, you know, m- mass-produced model kit." Okay, like the Zaku. Oh, okay, but then she's introduced to a variety of different model kits, as in a variety and. It's not just this one tone thing. It's just that she likes building model kits, mm-hmm. rather than it's like she likes building model kits from this one series or franchise. Right, right, right. and the thing is, she's not a character that was into model kits, right? Like this is not a model kit character. Like, 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 like we really just started working as like this blank person who grows to like appreciate model kits, right? It's not like yeah. the character who was a model kit who based her life like around model kits and start using model kits as an analogy for everything in life. You know, like yeah, you look. You know, hello. Life is just like a, it's just like a bunch of runners. You know, right, right. When you got, you got, you, you got to throw away your runners. You know, not, not hang or hang on, hang on to those things. You know, right. Like yeah, making it's, really, really bad analogy statement for everything. In life, and it's not. Right? It's also not one of those things where it's like she, she used to be the best, and now she's got to bring herself, or she's and she's got to uh, learn to come back into the so she's the hobby. Igniting her passion as a kid. Yeah, it's like. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't have anything that I really care about or do, and I don't know. I, I guess I'll do this. Yeah, um, sure. You know, yeah. right? I'll kill a few. I'll kill a few hours of of my time here. You know, right? Building yeah. this kit, right? Sure. Right. I got nothing else to do. That's why I'm here in this store to begin with, right? Like, I think even in the metaphor, even beyond the metaphor of the kits being used as like the different people in the store, or not the mm-hmm. store, the the office, and like the yeah. various issues she deals with. I think there's also mm-hmm. a metaphor to be seen just in the model kits of, like, finding variety in the things that you do. Like, even if you pick one hobby, there's a variety of ways you can do that hobby. Mm-hmm, right? Uh, hey, look, and, look, you don't have to actually be playing Yu-Gi-Oh!, you know, right? You can just collect Yu-Gi-Oh! cards, you know, You can, right? You don't have to play Yu-Gi-Oh! You don't have to play Yu-Gi-Oh! the main hey, way. You can look, play Speed Duels. You don't Duels. have to play current format, you know? You can play Edison. You can play Gulp, you, could, you know? You can, you can play Speed Duels. Duels. You can play Master friends, Duel. You can, can get together and force, and, and force to do an event at, at a national level to the point yeah. where on the online registry, they start listing you and you're like, uh-oh, that's real funny. I hope no one actually, actually also signs up for that. I and hope they don't friends, try to figure out the and do a deck profile video. I don't yeah. know if you've seen that. Uh, I haven't, but that's fucking amazing. Oh boy, hey, hey, uh, hey guys, you know, I'm just gonna post something randomly in our group chat that has nothing to do with this conversation, you know, mm-hmm. right? Right? Uh, hey, uh, let's not say names or anything about this, you know. Let's just, uh, let's just, uh, th- there you go. It's. Yeah, you know, <laughs> just, just don't worry about it. Okay. You know? I'll take yeah. care of that. Yeah, at yeah. some point. <laughs> yeah, uh, but yeah, uh, but yeah, yeah. It's like really interesting how the show approached the model kit aspect, especially with Rico's character, right? How she was acting, just like you know, like a character who's not who was actually had like no attachment to model kits or why there was model kits in the show. That how the show actually just use it as a purpose to to uh, to use her as a to move her forward with the plot and and building kit. Building, actually building her character, right? Yeah, and I mean, it's not like... It's not so... The good thing about it is also, there's it's not so one-dimensional that it's just, like, brought up quickly, and then it's just, like... Again, it's not just, like, trying to shell out these fucking, like, sh- like model kits and franchise and be like, ooh, uh, buy the new kit today. It's like, hey, no, these hey, are old guys, kits guys, that have been out guys, for a hey, while. You guys ever heard of... Space, spaceship Battle Yamato 2099. Yeah, I ever... Uh, you, oh, yeah, hey, this Ultraman's different than... This Ultraman's different from the Ultraman you knew because this Ultraman is the new Ultraman, but the old Ultraman's the the cool Ultraman that we know about, too. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's the right. relevance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was at the beginning. Anyway, <laughs> hey, there's a man behind her. Yeah. Um, what about this dark-ass <laughs> shop makes you want to go? Yeah, it's open. I'm just going. To be fair, I thought the I, I I thought the optometrist was closed today, and then I because uh, I was really scared about that because it looked real dark. But then I realized that it just had tinted windows. Uh, oh, Jesus! And that, but hey, that might be part of the reason why I need to get glasses. Uh, oh again. yeah! Did you thought you were going insane? I thought I I audibly went shit out loud from across the street when I looked at the my eye doctor and went, I think it's uh, I think it's out of business. And then I looked closer. I went, 
Oh, okay, it's just really dark from over here, and I, there's, I can see people inside. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, it's... Uh, I don't know. I think... I think there's really not... For once, this isn't a show that, like, we just want to, like, dogpile on and, like, kick the shit out of. Because it's mm-hmm. actually... It actually did it what it was trying to do. Which was... Mm-hmm tell a story, and it didn't try to do anything random and crazy. Don't know why this season two thing is supposed to be set in a different universe. Could have just kept <laughs> carrying on the drama with a different what thing. What are going to do without the old man? Maybe well, the old I, man will what? come back, but in a different role, or he'll be like, oh, man. you he's the, man, it'll I be... Can, I can't wait till we get to see. He'll, he'll be the cameo the, character. The he still fu- has the what shot, the, but the he'll be like, oh, but, yeah, in hey, a different room. I really hope that season two of Rico isn't a dog butter situation, you know? Right? Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> With Kaito and everything. I mean, it kind of sounds like it. Molly, I feel Molly like I kind of... And she shouldn't, and I will do everything in my power to spare her from that. Don Brothers, the thing that's bad. The thing that's bad and should never happen again, that, and that was why... Reek, you know, the, right? and, and may or may not... I, I, I thought about this uh, earlier today. Um, I think there's a not 0% amount of, my, of myself that is genuinely holding a grudge against William for that. Uh, and... I don't know how I'm going to handle that uh, maturely, um, but I'm just putting that out there that it's not a hu- it's I'm not a hundred percent like over it, and I'm gonna I'm gonna figure out how what percent I'm not over it and what percent I feel like I need retribution um, at mm-hmm. some point. But boy, um, what a little bitch. Um, <laughs> anyway, back to this show. Hey. Yeah. It, it, I I think, let's let rather than talking about Rico specifically, I guess now I think we should probably talk about like the side characters, like mm-hmm. because I think another strength of this is just it also has relatively well balanced side character. I think the only one that's really bad is Asai, who is the weird who is just a weird character because I don't know what his deal is. I agree with Molly about like to an extent, like, towards, about, like, Asai at the end, where it's, like, I can't tell if he's got, like, big tsundere energy, but, like, mm-hmm. uh... Either way, he's got drugs. But he is, but he is, like, so, like, he, I... I mean, I, I feel like his, his, his episode, his, right, because that's the thing I did appreciate is how every episode was a character-focused episode. To not only show Rico's character building a new bond with like her, right? Instead of just them being, like, hey, we're just coworkers, you know. We yeah. see each other in the morning. We 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 say hello to the morning, and then we say goodbye at night, and that's it, you know. Yeah, and also she's right? not like. Also, Rico isn't. Uh, it's not like she's going and building it by herself, and then miraculously saving the day for everybody else. She's bringing them to see her like hobby, yeah. mm-hmm. and that he's helps them figure out their it. stuff, yeah. like. On their own. I think uh, instead of shoving someone uh, right, into so, something, uh, mm-hmm. instead right. of shoving someone like into something that you like, it's like guiding them into it. Oh, I don't know. What are, I mean, one of them was pretty drunk when they got guided into that model or something. Uh, that's what I mean by it. technically that man was drugged. Alcohol is a drug. Yeah, that was the only. There's only one time where she truly coerced them, somebody, except for also when she and Shinji took Nakano there uh so it was two on one so that wasn't great either but other than those two instances everybody else came of their own free will more or mm-hmm. less yeah and got their problem solved by going there to the magical model kit shop mm-hmm. right with I the mysterious we'll with the mysterious manager and her and his 19 year old assistant who we don't sure what their actual relationship outside of yeah outside of a uh, boss and employee you know right it definitely feels like why would you sniff the glue? Uh, cause she's a fucking junkie. That's why she's at a dead end job like this. But you just sniffed the glue. I'm oh, sorry. Oh, oh, yeah, I'm seeing this for the first time. the part time. where yeah. she built, the built the built, not the zaku, the, the zaku, though. yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. Is that that part? Yeah. Mm-hmm. You have to glue them together. Opens glue and sniffs it. Yeah. Hey, she's a glue sniffing bitch. Um. 
but yeah. MC Smith. Uh, I, I think... Uh, I mentioned this... I think I mentioned this in the last episodes where I was like, I just realized that the... Uh, I only just realized that the uh, older Office trio is, like, a play on the typical, like, dog, pheasant, and monkey, like, mm-hmm. companions of Momotaro. yeah. Yeah, uh, your favorite, your favorite, uh, your favorite story. Yeah, yeah, my favorite. Ooh, Davataro, shoot my brain out, take my head off, da, 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 throw da, me da, in a dumpster. They're dancing in my head, and I can't get that out. Um, but hey, uh, yeah, uh. And I just like there's a lot. There were a lot of opportunities for this this to just be like one note, stupid. Well, not even stupid, but like this isn't strictly like a gag show, like a comedy mm-hmm. show. It is yeah, a yeah. funny show. It is a funny drama or a drama with gag elements to it. Mm-hmm. But it's still like just a a gra- Like it isn't real. It isn't a tokusatsu. It isn't. Mm-hmm. Uh, just like, sh- like yeah. you know, trying this to hawk this, like isn't, this model isn't kits. A, this isn't a girl gun lady or a Gundam built real, you know. Right? Yeah, this isn't just like one big commercial. It's just like, yeah. I mean, sometimes they 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 there's uh, funny bits, and sometimes you're gonna learn. You might learn something about model kit building. It's an actual mm-hmm. clever way to essentially increase attention towards model kits, but without jamming it in people's faces and it puts it in Mm -hmm. such a like it puts it in the realistic i guess mature light of like what it's like for an adult to build model kits like Mm -hmm. the reasons why people still you know i'm not saying that this is built like with the idea of like no see model kits are like a legitimate hobby you can it's it's uh, i'm not just some little kid i uh, it's it's a real thing that other adults do it's like it's it's like a bunch of it's like the reason why a bunch of people got really into like Magic the Gathering and D like got back into Magic the Gathering or got into Magic the Gathering and like D and D and other like outlets mm-hmm. or fucking some baking sourdough in the fucking <laughs> pandemic like it's yeah. just people find like people find any number of hobbies because they go I don't know thought I'd try that it's something I I either I did before and wasn't good at and might want to try again now that I'm an adult or. Uh, something that I always had an interest in before, but I never really had the disposable income or the time. But now that I'm an adult and I don't have to be constantly studying and stuff and, like, everything, if I just make my life my job, then I'm gonna be a mass-produced type. Ooh, and just fucking... I'll be a fuck... I'll, I don't... Nobody wants to die being a grunt suit. Um, mm-hmm. You know, in life, be your own grunt suit. Yeah, build, customize custom, your ass. yeah, customize your gunpla. If I'm gonna die as a as a GM or a Zaku, it better be one of those over the top, super fucking uh, seventy five different boosters and a bunch of fucking rocket launchers uh, and a and a big fucking uh, random Final Fantasy seven Buster Sword looking motherfucker. If you're gonna uh, be basic, at least be basic with style. Like that is the overarching fucking like. Uh, uh, man, my brain is not working. Fuck, what, what's, what's the thing when they learn a lesson at the end of a fable? Moral? moral yeah, moral the, the moral of the story. Yep, yep. Uh huh. I'm, boy, I've had a long day. Oh. Um, anyway, yeah, this stuff. That's the moral of the series. Is just like, hey, uh, you know, there's, don't just, you can do whatever you want. Just fucking like. Maybe try a few things. Try something different. You never know what you might like or find, like, fun out of all these, like, random hobbies that you might not have tried before. Or even random mm-hmm. series that you've never really cared about. Yeah. Just the old mm-hmm. guy teaching people to build gunpla. I mean, I really am the old... I really am the bald guy, uh... But then the I just manager. show up and be like, yeah, files! Yeah, I, I'm just going, no, listen, this is... Okay, here's, here's what happened. And the, the difference between, uh... The the old manager son and me is that uh, he does this stoically, yeah. and I look like fucking Charlie Day doing the fucking Pepe, Pepe Sylvia. Sylvia, and I'm like, listen, listen, okay, <laughs> all right. So this is what happens when the so Flit Asano, okay, he starts out, 
he's the first one, all right? And then he, they're fighting against they're they're fighting against the, the 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 unidentified enemy. They don't know what it is. Then it turns out that it's Martians, okay? And then he has they go, oh shit, it's Martians. But they, this is only fourteen episodes because they have to go to the next generation. It's his son, Asimu Asno, uh, or Asimu Asno, depends on how you feel about it. That's when it gets to age two, all right? Age two, okay? Age two. That's when it gets cool, all right? Because his son is a fucking Chad, all right? He's got a girlfriend. He's got a rival that's red. All that stuff. That all goes great, but that actually ends really shortly, and then we get back to his little bitch-ass fucking uh, grandson, Kyo Asano, and that's when it gets really stupid, because he's a fucking 11-year-old, and he's, you got this fucking 11-year-old fucking, he's out here, he's fucking piloting a goddamn war machine, he's fucking killing people, and he's got, making no goddamn sense, and his dad's a fucking uh, xenophobic asshole trying to kill all the Martians. And, but his friend, he got put into cryosleep, the Asimu's friend, he got put into cryosleep, so he's still the rival for the grandson, even though, even though Asimu's gone. And then it turns out, Asimu's still a bit alive, but he's a space pirate now, and he didn't disappear, he just didn't come home, because he's a bad dad, but he's still a good dad, he still cares about his son, his kid's still the best one, and he's got the best Gundam, as the AG2, and Gundam Age sucks, and his dad's, his granddad is, is all bad. And fuck Mars and stop, stop, stop sniffing the glue, dear. But it tastes so good. Why are you eating it? I said sniffing. What's wrong with you? And some say that there's taste receptors in the nose. Well, yeah, I mean. And some say there's nose. Why- some say there's smell receptors in the mouth. I don't know about that one. I've heard it both ways. <laughs> anyway. I just thought they were just like, you want to build this over yeah. there? Yeah. You want to come to my private back room? Don't worry, there's only one exit. Aside from the window that is from the second story of this fucking department store. Um, man, it's, uh... Yeah, this is just one of those things where I don't really have many, like, complaints to make about it. And I really just want to... Like, okay, even... Here's another thing, right? That is just <clears throat> this show compared to other things. Uh, the backstory of this, right, is that this is from uh, that this is starring like Nogizaki, right, forty six yeah, yeah, or whatever, yeah, yeah, former, yeah, former like, idol member, you know, former right? idol member. Cause, cause, yeah, because after after you're done being idol, they, right, your company tells you to hey hey uh, go play hey, television. Yeah, go you're you're on now. your own. Go learn how to fucking work in dramas and shit. Mm-hmm. But for an idol. Or at least for a, a a vehicle for a former idol, like former Japanese idol. Sh- there's no stupid like dance. No, I mean other. Okay, the end credits like they do a little cutesy like dance with each of the model kits and like them all in the back room. So. But it's not I mean, like that's, not really a dance. that's just them playing in the. Like, it's just them fucking leave. around, and like there's an yeah. opening scenes credit. Like the opening credit scenes have like them like popping out of the runners and everything, and that's, that's actually pretty clever. Cause it, yeah, again, also because it gives you a chance to see all the characters like names and like framed out, and also tells you their ages with like a clever yeah, little yeah. trick of which, like uh, the took us, which took us a few episodes. I think when we started to realize that it took us think... probably about the third episode. Mm-hmm. Uh, right, but like because that's where I jumped in. But like, they don't have her like dance on a stage at gunpoint. You know, <laughs> she's not fucking doing like cutesy little like. They don't uh, have her after ba- every episode showing building the model kit. Yeah, <laughs> not do that. or doing like some fucking baby metal. At, like, do you remember fucking Girl Gun Lady? They had to do like there was like a weird like dance scene every time they like yeah, built something new. Was, like it was goddamn was like Blues Clues. It was like we got just got a letter. We just got a bullet. Yeah, we just got I'm, a bullet. We're gonna make it shoot like. Like Let's we just see. got a new gun. We just got a new gun. We just got a new gun, and now we're gonna shoot. Yeah. <laughs> uh. But this is—they didn't even do that for her. Like, they just gave her like a real fucking show, which mm-hmm. is wild. Right, to yeah, me. No, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh. I like it because, again, they're not like forcing anything on you. It's just hey, sometimes. Things we do reflect us as people. Yeah. Which is why, like, every time, it's like, everyone, essentially, that she brings gets, like, their own thing, that they're like, we did this. And they choose to do, like, they, and because they're, it's also them doing it, and not her, like, building it for them, or, like, building it, and then, like, her building it, ir- like, like, 
detached from them, building it by herself, and then coming in and being like, I learned something by building this Gumpla. Yeah. She takes them, they build the Gumpla, and decide to do whatever they want. Like, the episode when she brings Nakano and her nephew, mm -hmm. and Nakano builds the, or they start building the SD Gundam, and the kid has the, he's the shitty little fucking ass brat is like yeah, being yeah, a little yeah, bitch love, but then no, no, they go love, love Fortnite, you know? you know, but then they but then like when he builds the sd gun then they're all, that's when they bring up like hey you know if you is this how you really want it to look you could always give it a custom paint job Ooh. you know you kids you like them custom paint jobs what if it was just all black and gold Ooh, he Make looks like he Make looks yours. like your favorite anti-hero Ooh. He's the he's the matador matador guy from uh, Power Rangers Lost Galaxy. Ooh, like isn't that cool? Like, you know, it's it's those little things of like, uh, like Shinji building like he built a real grade instead of like, uh, uh, Rico's like nineteen eighties fucking Zaku. That you know, <laughs> that doesn't like the fr like. I just again looking back at the f the first episode, Jesus Christ, the actual build of this is so horrendous. There's no bend to the knees. There's to bend their knees. There's no actually no, there is a bend to the knees. Um but there's like the torso is just one like two giant pieces of plastic that are just like on each side of each other and you just like hold them up and she has to like yeah, paint no, it to hold like it together. It's gonna break apart. At any, yeah. at any just to point. It together. And I think the interesting, the like, really letting the follow through of like by the time it gets to the end, like she goes from like fumbling over like the pieces like this and like you know trying to like, mm -hmm. like oh, no, snap I broke, shit together. I broke, the, I broke the pieces, you know, right? To building right. her own version of like the last shooting that inspired her, like at the beginning, and then and and she, yeah, that's and the, yeah, she does give it to her boss. But then she also, the last shot of the show is her building a last shooting of the Zaku, which shows that she's more willing to, like, truly customize it than just, like, put a little bit of, like, paint on it, you know? Mm -hmm. I think the point is that you can be a mass production type person, but everyone still has their individualities. Mm -hmm. So it's like... And by the end, if you, y y that might change and, you know, that mass production suit might wind up... Being a completely customized, insane piece of art. Yeah. Um... It's, it's. But it's not forcing anything on anyone. It's yeah. not shoving like a toy or object or like. Yeah. Buy, 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 buy. Because we're pulling out retro shit. Yeah. We're pulling out all the shit, and it's awesome. Yeah, it's. Like this is actually a really well done. Yeah, it. It really fucking to, handled itself well. Trying to incorporate both like a product and people. Yeah. Without being like, there's product, and there's people. People are products. Welcome like, to corporate. Welcome to capitalism. People and products can work together. Yeah. Um, right. mm -hmm. And we learn about friendship along the way. Yeah. The real models we, the real kits that we built, were the friendship and bonds along the way. Mm -hmm. That we built, right? Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's. I I think. I don't know that I have anything else to say about it other than like, hey, this was actually one of the rare times that it was fucking yeah, good. Yeah, that we enjoy enjoy a filler season show, right? Yeah, right? Right I back, mean, like, yeah, like this and like um, high school heroes have been like two of the random like, like high school heroes. Know. High school heroes was definitely more of like a fever dream, um, <laughs> but this is like, this is still like, yeah. I mean, I mean, it happened, but it wasn't bad. Like, mm -hmm. I can walk away with this saying, yeah, if somebody asked me, like, like, j since, it, if somebody asked me, it, was this a good show, would I recommend it? I actually mm -hmm. might recommend this to some people of, like, hey. Hey, hey you guys want to go check out the IMTB review for uh, Rico? Oh, Real God. Oh, boy, let's do it. Okay, let's, well, let's, let's, uh, let's see let's if it's see. cursed. Uh, only, oh, only 11 ratings, so, and, oh, and, and that's, it looks that's like. still too many ratings. Uh, let's see, uh. Any user? Where, where the fuck do I head? Is anyone read a user review? Where the fuck do I go to look to read user reviews? Ratings by episode. I boy, how the fuck do they do they still have that? I I see ratings, but where the fuck do I look at user review? <laughs> I don't think anyone has written a user review on this. I mean, so it's got a seven point five out of ten. 
That should be a good thing, the fact that no one has written a user review, Yeah, I mean, right? that, that means it's... I mean, I guess, yeah. Wow, there is... Yeah, be the first to review. There is no fucking review for it. It's, I, I'm just gonna go check out something in the background. Do, 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 do. Where see, is Orange seven. Parlor in all caps? Uh, oh, boy. Mm. Let's, see, let's go to user review for this one. Is, is it still there? Uh-oh. Oh, yeah, nope. Uh, still there. Ooh. Which one? Yo, yeah, I, mean, I mean, people are still writing about it. Uh, oh, it's the shop. Thing. Uh, do do do. Can I go to the shop? I was gonna say, what do they do? Oh boy, uh, still a lot of uh, bot, bot user just an empty account. Building that you run. Yeah. Oh man. I hate this man's suit. Stupid ass plaid suit. It angers me. This, this guy made a. This guy made an account just to review review the show. Oh. Uh, what about this guy? Uh, oh, this guy. We... Oh no, this guy. Oh, this guy has made a... I have a feeling that I know where you are, so I'm gonna go see that on IMDb, and I don't like mm, going hey, look, back uh, there. Look, hey, look, I, I, hey, look, I really preach that IMDb are taking out all these uh, garbage reviews, you know, right? Oh, I'm forgettable! Really Featuring beautiful women. Oh! And oh! Montage. Oh my god! Oh my god! Jesus Christ! I'm I'm brought back. Holy shit! I never should. Why did you? What? This is your fault, Austin. I, I wouldn't have gone I, back. I there. don't know what you're talking about. I didn't do anything. I was doing something in the background, you know, right? Right. All right. Yeah. No, that's the thing I really appreciate. I also appreciate that the show actually took every episode to feature a different style. I guess. Right. Quite a, different ways to do models. in Kansas, just, folks. No. These babies right, are that, fit. Right, that isn't just here's a model kit and here's us building it, right? I do appreciate each episode showed us like different things like yeah, hey, hey, here's a here's an episode where you learn how to customize your uh your kit, you know? Here's an episode where you uh where you put where you put on where you glue some stickers and some uh and some gems, I learned about you know? weathering today. This to yeah, mm -hmm. the, you know, this episode here's, here you're gonna learn about weathering. Hey, yeah, maybe, about panel sometimes you want to, uh, right? You, you get a lot. Of, each do take every episode to like teach a different thing along with that. Along here's with an airbrush. Kit. Also, not every episode was a Gundam kit, which is the big, which is the biggest. I thought there was a bet. I thought a, a Sunrise Show show where like, hey, remember Gundam? Check out a cool Gundam. And then they realized, oh nope, this is not a Gundam show. This is actually a Bandai show with a uh, Bandai products. You know, right? Yeah. yeah. Right, yeah, I did appreciate the fact that they did uh, teach every episode to do like something different and new. Right. Yeah. I think. Why the, am I, I looking at this? It's so oh. bad. Boy, I don't know why, why you're still reading. You're not showing me. Oh boy, I just, are you still I just, reading it? A, a dramatic reading of from August of last year. Mm. The Plamo toys that form the basis for this venerable and classic hits, venerable and classic hit series. What show are we even doing? Are the least of it. Are the least of it. This is fun, hobby, attraction, nature's gift to mankind, and healthiness combined. That's almost poetic. Everyone, everyone is active, smart, fit, and trim, and the skin is non-Western. <laughs> what is he reviewing? Sakura Ando, I love you. What the f <laughs> What are you reviewing? Does it say what it's a review for? It's Girl Gun Lady! <laughs> Why? Okay, I'm still stuck on, uh... Dear! Oh, boy. Dear! Oh! I wanna read them. Dear, there's a Dear Amer- the, There's a- There's a Dear America Woman one. Uh... <laughs> that one's really bad, too. Woo! Woo! Hey, I'm really mad they took that. I do that, not they, recommend they, this to you. <laughs> I'm really mad they took down my review. I can't believe they took down my review. Right? The women are sizzling beautiful. And, and they it, show it off. Makes me sad to live where all the women are fat and tattooed trashy. You will be interested. I, I, dog. <gasps> what? Yes, what? let me just remove my arm and leg. What? Is I'm sorry that I'm fat and trashy. What? For tattoos. What is... I'm not sorry. This I'm still stuck person. on, like, the first one of just young mischievous kids, and they grow quickly into sexy, powerful maidens. I... This ain't Kansas, <laughs> folks. These babies are fit. I'm in hell. 
I'm in hell. You're in hell? We're all in hell. I mean, no, no one told you to look Asian it up. Asian American, though? Asian with American women, I don't recommend this for you. But there's I'm and Asian, there's but and, I live in America. and there's what? skin and their skin is non-Western. Hey, I hate to break it to you, but technically speaking, Asia's to the west of America. That's what happens when you have a fucking circle. It goes both ways, you dumb son of a bitch. God, oh, oh, I was feeling so positive with this fucking Rico. I forgot that there's tragedy in this world. Also, just, you know, non-Western skin. Mm. I think you just want to say not white people, but you don't No, I think they're trying to fucking fetish... They're, they're, they're talking about them creamy yellow thighs. <laughs> Slanty eyes? Slanty eyes. Creamy yellow thighs. I assume you also knows about this now. Uh, I've played it for him but i don't oh no you no he remember i started playing it for him and they said i do remember about this <laughs> the the incredibly racist asian song oh yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah asian yeah yeah, 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 yeah. yeah i remember that, yeah i remember right wait right, when we was reading out that crazy racist i remember because I, I listened to that years ago too because i think it was featured like taj point over some shit back was then. it Oh my god, I'm I don't remember. sure that song was, uh, was featured on Tosh. That's the reason why how I knew about it. Did, did Tosh Bueno do like a, a redemption for them? I don't remember. For who, the band or the Asian Well, cause, well cause, cause Tosh Bueno's whole gimmick was also like taking those like cringy fucking like YouTube videos and being like, hey, do you want to just like try and redo that video? Because like, and like, for some people, it, they got like the, like, it would really be like playing with the bit and just like making it like more ridiculous. And some people you could tell like not all of them were Fuck, wasn't... of the Fuck, same what? mental faculties as other people. And so Fuck, it was what, like they what, what the fuck what the fuck was they was they with that music video again? What cho- I mean there's chocolate rain. He talked to fucking no, no, chocolate no. rain. What No 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 the, the, the Asian the Asian It's girl. called Asian Girls with a Z. Oh, okay, that's why I couldn't find okay. Yeah, you're gonna have to you may have to look it up under uh, fucking like public shaming because that's the only YouTube channel that I could find that still has it. Okay, Please do see. not encourage this upon. Uh, yep. Uh, let's their see. Own I'm, let's see. Uh, I'm gonna let's see. I'm gonna look up Asian girl Tosh and see what comes up. Okay. And try Asian folding ideas. Tibetan uh, nope. Rub. Rub it down, down. Tie betting foot rub, rub it down, down. Tie betting. Oh, 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 this is a Tosh Point no episode. All right, all right, all right, all right. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, okay. Now I'm going to control F. All right, I'm going to listen to Tosh Point. Boy, this show ran up to the to 2020. That's fucking crazy. Yeah, I, yeah. I mean, it was, it was, it's the same quality of show. I mean, it's basically just the same thing that people do now on YouTube, which is just like, let's, I mean, people did it on YouTube before then, but it it's a it's a Somehow tried and true. A for- I'm just saying it's a tried and true formula. It's just the difference is that they used a a professional comedian to do it, which actually and professional like editing and everything. So to an extent, the only thing that he, they had competition was with at the time was the increasing budget of YouTubers being able to do it. So now, <laughs> once the pandemic hit and he couldn't do it in person anymore, and the YouTubers were also doing it of comparable quality, he, the, the, the novelty had completely died. So I can understand why it stopped in 2020. Um, mm, but I, I can understand why it lasted that long. Yeah. Yeah. All right, uh, never mind. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, I could have anyway. sworn I saw this on, on Taj Pinal at, at some point. I guess not. Yeah. Anyway, point is, yeah, um... Hey, I hope that hey, that. Hey, I mean, hey, so uh, should we should we rate uh should we rate uh Rio Saga Rico on our on our scale? Yeah, I'm gonna rate it. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna rate it on the scale, but I'm also gonna say um, uh, out of uh uh fucking like especially to give a giant middle finger to the fucking dude reviewing the one dude or uh the various versions of himself voting uh reviewing goddamn girl gun lady out imagining of, that there's more than one of them is horrifying out of spite and the as out of spite assuming that they're not just spam accounts i don't know i remember from the first review when we first originally three no, no, I, from the same guy we, we found out that they were from the same guy because we like looked at the the uh we looked at the profiles and stuff and i don't feel like going through that right now do you know yeah, what yeah, i yeah. just thought mm-hmm. about but what oh. if there's a site called rate my asian and you just 
I'm not saying. I'm not saying. I'm not saying that there is. I'm not saying that there's one weird Asian porn subreddit. Yeah, I was gonna say. I don't know if there's literally a a fucking. And then you just get comments like. Oh, she's sizzling. I don't know if there's literally I don't know that there's literally a site called that, but I'm sure there's either a subreddit or oh, there are something to that Asian that are just I will confirm Asian that I said subreddit. great with a T. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I get that. I'm just saying I'm I'm certain there's Though I'm sure the other the, exists. Yeah. Um look, hey, here's here's my if I'm if I'm giving it a... Uh, uh, the spiteful mm-hmm. rating against uh, that guy, ten out of ten, no skin shown. Nobody's super. Nobody's more attractive than anybody else. Everyone's I wanna conservative. F- I want to fuck the old man. Yeah, because they're office workers. I just want to fuck the manager and talk to. I just want to have him talk sweet nothings to me about different like model kit series and tell me about them, and then he can help me mm-hmm. improve my craft. I yeah. don't care about his 19-year-old daughter. I don't care about the 24-year-old Rico. I don't care about any of these fuckers. No. It, I don't care what aisle group you're in. The old man is the is the real waifu of the fucking goddamn show. And That's then right, manager son. And then my my like more sincere one is uh this is a a real double uh, O trans am of a show. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's it it took something basic and elevated it even further beyond. Mm-hmm. So what's right, I think yeah, that's my my rating is Trans Am. Cool, that's well, my favorite gotta, number. You, I mean, I said ten out of ten as my uh, like uh, spiteful just, one. Well, yeah, I mean, it's I do believe that it's a ten out of ten, um, but I also am just saying uh, the Trans Am is my just imaginary and in, intangible uh, score that I'm giving it. Eight point seven five. Certain characters just annoyed me, and I didn't really understand their storyline. Yeah. And it should have been a little bit more clear. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But that's that's about it. Like otherwise the subject matter and everything that happened and the production yeah. was good. And I can it's admit just, that I'm also a broken person, like that's just re- reacting. It's just like from we a got a small glimpse into like some of the coworkers, but like it never really was fully explained with all of them. Yeah. And if only we had a feel... season two to carry on into more development on these characters. No, we're just switching worlds. Like for me, I'm like uh, Osai or whatever the tall Oishi. Oishi, um, like could have gone for a little more information about this guy. Talking about the older one, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you you kind of mixed up Asai and Oishi, <laughs> so you made Osai. Which, hey, maybe that's Osai. a maybe that's a character in season two. They slammed them together okay. and said, you guys are two in one. The boy and a superior. Yeah. Oh, 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 you're, you're two characters in one now? You yeah. Know? Here's here's a belt. What one, one of you is gonna wear, both, when both you guys, you guys are both gonna wear this belt at the same time? And everything. No, no, only, no, no. Only one of you wears the belt, and then when you put in your USB drives, uh, then you go and form into two into one. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I think the show is really good. I would probably put this above. I think in the current scale rating, I would go uh, Rico, high school hero, uh, Gundam built Rio, and then girl gun lady, right? I, yeah, I, I would, uh, I would agree. I think that's, I think that's yeah, absolutely correct. Hundred percent. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. Right. And, and Indisputable. Knows, All in agreement. Rico, we'll, we'll, we'll be good. Who knows what Zany adventure Rico will, 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 will have in, in next season? You know, right? Look, she's the president now. You know, right? Look, yeah. Maybe she, maybe maybe now that she's the president, she will be a look. She's a president and a common writer, you know, right? Oh God! Ooh. Oh no! Wait. Okay, hold on. I just decided to because I could find it. Uh, I just I decided to hit play on on the <laughs> fucking <laughs> on the on the first <laughs> on episode two. of season two. Yeah, uh-huh. and the f- opening shot is the sun rises is, over. A and she has an office. army of of. Uh, built zakus but one of them Only is her one custom is one of them is her custom zaku with the pink shoulder oh from 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 season one and that's definitely asai and that's definitely fucking goddamn uh uh shinji behind her he so the actors are the actors oh are still carrying over from the last season well the fucker looks way better with short hair yeah he looks like a Boy. real person <laughs> instead of just a but i'm on hat. my drama list right looking at the page for Rico season one and I scrolled down to recommendation and I don't like it. Oh, oh what does it come out for recommendations? Hey, I don't think I really need to explain it, you know, right? <laughs> People. 
be water. I, no, no. I'm I sorry? Know. I don't know. I can't tell. I'm sorry? I just know that she wrote her name and then fucking... Uh, he started writing, and then fucking Asai started writing something. And th- man, this looks like a WeWork situation. This is not a CEO. This is like Google shit. Like this does not You're look just like the leader a leader of a team inside of a company. Yeah. Oh man. Oh, all right. Are they all just all moving? Right. Did they? All- oh wow. Oh nope. I so I spoke too soon about the dancing. I spoke too soon about the dancing. Mm, mm, boy, like, we didn't hey, dance look. enough in the first season. Oh. Oh, there's well, a lot of dancing. Uh, is this stuff we should save for? Save for look. For that's that's two hey. That's that's just the that's that's the hook for people to get uh, interested for season two because boy, uh, they made her younger. <laughs> I'm that's pretty normal. sure she was 24 before. She was 24 before. It says on 17, the promotional. 17, 23. Her tree, her her tree changed. It's 23 now. Oh boy. 17, mm. 23. Um, yeah. Some guys I, say it doesn't matter to me. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 okay. I don't like that color of suit. 52, 23, I mean, 23, 23. 35? There's a, that's a new person. 33, yes. 25, 20. Who the fuck are you? Who the fuck? Oh, manager son's back. Woo! Uh, Chiemi is gone, or, you know, whatever her name is. It's now all about Ow. Um, but the manager son is, son is still here, so that's the important part. He's still... He's still best girl. Um, yeah, okay. Yep, all right. So, yep. Oh, Nakano is still there. Um, yep. And, oh, Graveyard Instead Teeth is still there. Instead of free, free them. They, they all break out. Themselves. And now they now all... Oh, ah. Shinji is on the ground doing weird things. Oh, man. Ah. Okay, yep. This is this is an unhinged opening sequence. It's just right. Ooh, Wow, Jesus, wow. This will be a thing to discover. Alright, 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 so are we just gonna end this with stay tuned for next week, I guess? Yeah, stay tuned for the next one, because shit's yep. happening. Hey. Oh right. boy! Right. Oh boy, hey, it's happening, uh, it's I a whole choreographed dance. I can't wait to see where Truck Coon takes us next, you know, right? Like, I can, right, where, where, where will this, this new world, this another life we're starting with, with Rico is gonna be gonna lead us. Yeah, now. for another one, yeah, Mohitori, just one more. Uh, Boy, man, it'll be real funny if we could somehow finish. If we could somehow finish Rico season two before Cosmic Fury starts again, you know, right? Yeah. I guess we'll find out as we start re- as we record Rico season two, you know. All right. Uh, anything you guys want to say about the show before before we end it? I think hey. we said everything we need to say about the yeah. show. You I know, think right? we said everything we need to say, and honestly, the fact that we said as much as we did is, for once, a testament to how good this was, and not just mm-hmm. how much of a fucking yeah. bad shit crazy and, and situation that, it was. If we ignore, like, the last 10, 15 minutes of that offbeat tangent, did we actually spend a good time just th- actually talking positively about this show, you know, right? Yeah. And that just shit most yeah. this show. Yeah. yeah. Alright. Well. Alright, that's it. On right, to the uh, next one. Before we go, get off. Before we get off, Chloe. Wait, we're getting off. No, no, yeah. we're we're signing off. Oh, yeah. He's yeah, yeah. getting uh, off. I mean, we're getting yeah, off. Watch this... out for Truck Coon. I'm beans. saying we, we, had, we need to get off Truck Coon's wild ride. You know, right? We, whatever. You don't want to be with Truck Coon. <laughs> There's a company called Perfect Beans. <laughs> Jesus Christ, alright. And they're trying to sell shit to, like, it's like fucking supplements. It's called Perfect Beans. It's tummy tea, but it's called Perfect Beans. But it includes, like, coffee beans, kidney beans. Unfortunately, not oh. beans, but. Is this an incubation party? Alright, I think that's. Alright, we're gonna, we're gonna have to stop there. Uh, we, we, I, I feel like we have to end it here, you know, right? Yep, yep. I mean, we're, we're, getting, we're getting too far ahead of software for season two. Yeah. Right. Hey, let's yeah. Stay, stay tuned next week. I guess uh, season two of Rico starts. You know, right? Yeah. We're back. Cosmic We're Fury back. still we, TBD. Yeah. We never left. We never left Rico. Right. And we're, and we're staying with Rico. You know, right? Yeah. Yeah. I I hope I hope Cosmic does not come back during halfway through Rico, forcing us to stop watching Rico in the middle of season nope, two. Nope. It takes the back seat. Yeah, honestly, we finish Rico before, even if Cosmic Fury comes back, we finish Rico and we save Cosmic Fury for when we're done with Rico. Oh, okay. Uh-huh. It All gets right. back yeah, seat. Okay. All right. Jesus All right, Christ. Is that it? Yeah, yeah that's, that's it. it. We're writing this. All right. All right. Coronavirus is still taking watch. We're writing this. We're now. Okay, thanks. Bye.